Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It's like Christmas around here. I keep getting more and more orders of fabric pouring in. I almost think I'm done. I, you know, I do keep track, so I will mark off the stuff that came yesterday and again today. Uh, some bolts, small bolts, uh, I'll explain that when we get to the bolts, that I ordered over a month ago with Henry Glass. They are famous for making me wait forever. And there's only one thing that I ever order from them, and you'll be seeing them. Okay, I have so many fat quarters that it is crazy. I always worry, like, what happens if I all of a sudden stop selling fabric? I'm not too worried about it. All right, I thought I was going to have anywhere from, like, 9 to 11 more boxes coming in. I got 8, so I called Choice Fabrics today to ask... Wasn't I supposed to get orange? But we had talked about some colors that they hadn't put together yet in fat quarter boxes. So I thought with all the ordering that I did that I had ordered that. So I was excited about orange, but she says if they make boxes of that, she will call me. So I'm okay. So right now I have eight boxes that just came in with 100 fat quarters each. So that's 800 right there. That's not including the others, the other boxes that I got, you know, a couple of uh, unboxings ago, or maybe the most recent one. And then they don't have enough batiks right now, but she said it arrived. I'm so excited, but it'll take a little bit before I can get my hands on the uh, fat quarter boxes of batiks. Anyway, uh, they had just you know not enough to make 100 boxes like they normally do but they had enough to make bundles like this and she had showed me a picture and i said i'll take them all and i ended up with 170 fat quarters not 170 bundles but individual fat quarters 170 and i haven't looked at them enough yet to know if they are um all different but I'll show you very quickly because I'm having a sale right now so I'm going to have to stop every few minutes to go check that but we got this and this I like the colors like this oh some aqua or teal or whatever <gasps> these are looking good and I'm in a hurry to break all these things apart because uh, I am having a sale right now. This is August 2022, but next weekend is Labor Day, and I'm having a three-day sale. It's a big frenzy. There's going to be lots of stuff to choose from. I'm loving these batiks so much. I'm trying to, you know, show you the colors as best as... Oh! 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 <laughs> And I have to remember not to bang the table because when I edit, I notice that it, um, you know, it shakes the camera. Now, I will say, Choice Fabrics, they won't sell to you, even if you live across the street from them, unless you have um, either a resale certificate or, in my case, in Mississippi, I have to have a sales tax permit. I had to pay $500, a $500 bond fee just to get that, to be able to sell, but supposedly I get it back if I ever quit. Okay, I think that was it. And then something that I've never had from them before um, is rolls of batiks, jelly rolls. They do sell some jelly rolls, but boy, they're usually so dusty, linty, whatever. But batiks, they don't, they don't uh, shred, shed. They don't shed, I don't know what I wanna say. Uh, so I took them for the hell of it, and I again, some of these might be repeats, I don't know, but I have some light colored ones. I hope I'm not shaking the table. Okay, let me check my sales. Let me move this. We'll continue. I just took them out of the boxes so I wouldn't have to um, be making as much movement banging around. Okay, this one I've had before, and I ordered it again because I went through it pretty quickly. It's Christmas prints, and what I might do, since I already had a lot of these set up as, you know, various sets of fat quarters, 
I might just go look, see what I did, and just repeat. And then I won't have to take all the pictures over again. So let me put that down here. And this, I always love beige. I don't always have a lot of luck selling beige. And I don't know why. What I would have to do is make a, what's it called? Low volume quilt top, like for a video. It's just like one color and just different shades, low volume. There's not a lot going on. Those are beautiful, and I think they're the most beautiful in like beige. But anyway, I couldn't help it. I had to buy beige. Look, look at that. Maybe by you seeing them here and by hearing me talk like this, <laughs> maybe you'll like them more than you usually do. Now this, I was all over it. All florals and in so many colors. I've never had a fat quarter box quite like this one. Ah, very happy. And, ooh, did I do greens? These must be the greens. Yes, I did. And there's a little bit of golden in there. Ah, I like. Look. Okay, I have four more like this to show you. I don't know if I mentioned it. I haven't done any editing yet. Um, and I don't know if I look wet, but I'm wet. I got caught in a rainstorm. And when I say I got caught, we had a sudden downpour and I went running around in that on purpose. <laughs> it was so fun. And then Derek called and said, can you go get Skylar? She doesn't want to walk home in this rain. And I said, okay. So I was so happy that I got to go out into the pouring rain. It's only a minute away. Um, and, uh, and then when I got there, she was soaking wet. She was waiting for me undercover, but she said, I went and ran around in the rain. I was like, yes, my kind of girl. Okay, yellow. It is so hard for me to get yellows, like enough to make some nice sets. And when they said they had yellows and um, they do send me pictures, I was like, yes, please. Wait, wait, wait till you see. Look. I'm so happy about this. I'm always happy about fabric. And blues, and I've had, they call them like shades of yellow, shades of blue. And it's mixed manufacturers. And I have had blues quite a few times, but now these are different prints. I think blue is my biggest seller. Purple next. Maybe they're tied, but those are my two best selling colors. And we have red, and I thought maybe some of these would be nice in Christmas quilts. Happy with these. And here's another one, like beige. Gray. I love gray. Some people don't love it as much as I do, apparently. Because <laughs> sometimes I'm stuck with it for a little while. I just want to feel it. I'm going like this, and I'm not even feeling fabric. It's plastic. I don't know. I'm just a weirdo. But I like the grays very much. If I ever have trouble selling something, I do a video and it sells out. The thing is, is I don't have the time to always do that, to do quilt tops or things. So, uh, okay. Oh yeah, now I'm going to show you some bolts. Let's start with the Henry Glass and I'm going to explain to you that I say I don't like to buy full bolts. I'm talking about big bolts, 16 yards per bolt. I still don't like buying small bolts because I usually have to buy six or eight. I can sometimes get flat folds, five yards. I still think five, six, eight yards is a lot. I like to flip the stuff and have always new prints coming in. But sometimes I just can't resist. And um, Henry Glass offers two different prints at uh, 10 yard bolts. 10? Or is it eight? These are 10, I believe. Yeah, 10 yard bolts. And one is a print I don't care for. And then the other one is called folio. And it's just like little leaves. So every now and then I wanna pick some out and then I have to wait 
forever for them to arrive. We have a very big glare. Why is that happening? Hang on. Well, we're just going to have a glare. And so I ordered these over a month ago in fall colors. And I just got them. So let me just show you the colors. And I might do some one yard sets, one yard of all six, one yard each, <laughs> half yards, fat quarters, things like that. So there's those three colors and these three colors. I just thought they were nice for fall and they are. I'm very happy with them. Last but not least, I think this is it <laughs> for this run. Um, I recently, I don't know, a few months ago, joined up with Joann's and I'm part of their um, wholesale family now. And I have to buy a minimum of whatever that fabric is that I see on the site and it changes all the time. Like one print can be purchased wholesale and then the next day maybe it's not anymore and then the next day it might be again. So it's kind of fun. I, it's like I'm looking for a treasure. And some of the prints you have to buy six yards, some of them eight yards. And for some reason, I'm usually with the prints that I have to buy eight yards. But I just like them. And this one is kind of a standalone print. I just liked it. It might go into sets depending on what else I have. It's, you know, purple. People love purple. And then I have, so these are all eight yard bolts. Oh, I can take the, the fabric off this one. I mean the plastic off this one. And I liked that. It's just a nice little floral. But then these other ones are my guilty pleasures. And uh, not everybody likes the wild and wacky like I do. I'm going to just show them to you together and then I'll do them separate. Fuck! Look at that shit! I love it so much! Alright, I have an open end. Look at that. Oh, I just love this so much. This is why I do this. Oh, I just love... You know what? You know what? This one reminds me of my doodling! I need to get back to doing that. I enjoyed that so much, but I have a lot of doodles that look just like this. Now, if I could, I would love to design fabric. I looked into uh, a printer for fabric. It's about $35,000 for the one that I would like. <laughs> it's very expensive to have the dye. I don't know if it's dye or ink or what they use, but maybe when I retire, maybe I can do that. <laughs> Okay, how do I open an end? I like to have the end opened. Oh. Now, you know what? I would love some two inch squares in this because the squares would all be so different depending on where they're cut, you know? It's like little magical two inch squares. And then this guy, this looks like watercolor. And there we go. And it looks like there's Ooh, some other colors. Oh, I like that. <sighs> Again, how fun to cut squares out of things like this. Like even three and a half inch squares. You know, each square is telling its own story. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. If I forgot anything, I'll include it in the next uh, unboxing. Uh, I would like to continue to do some unboxings, but it's very rare that I have this much fabric all at once. And I had orders that came in that you guys didn't even get to see, so I feel bad. But um, you'll see them. If you become an exclusive shopper, you'll see them. You'll see them all at some point. So I will have, uh, for my exclusive shoppers, I will have a few of these available tomorrow. Today is August 26, 2022. I'm trying to add stuff on Saturdays for my sales. My sales start Friday, noon central, and then I used to stop them around Saturday at the same time so I could start packing orders. 
But now I kind of let it run to like Saturday night. And so Saturday I try to add more things. And then Labor Day is going to be a three-day sale. I'm going to have a bunch of stuff on Friday. I'd like to have some more on Saturday and then maybe a few more things on Sunday. And I don't have um, shipping on Monday because it's a holiday. So I will, you know, be able to start packing my orders Sunday evening, Sunday afternoon, and then all Monday. Hopefully get things out on Tuesday, but it might have to be Wednesday because it's going to be a big sale. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, yeah, and if you want to know how to shop for my stuff, uh, there's... Uh, info in the description of this video and also on my blog darlenemichaud.com look in the right sidebar thank you so much for watching bye